It's me, Nikki Kamo. If you're thinking, today's video is looking a little different. You are right. Ultimate coverage 24 hour foundation. 24 hour foundation again, makeup community, again. You know what? Let's try this out. So the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation just came in. I just woke up, I'm very tired. It's gonna be a long, long day. Lately, you know, we need to talk. Maybelline, Becca, pretty much every brand out there claims that makeup can last up to 24 hours. 24 hours. And you know, that's really cool and all. But in today's video, I want to find out, would you, if we had the chance, if we had the option, actually wear it for 24 hours? What happens in 24 hours? And can it actually hold up for 24 hours? I mean, there's a lot of stuff that can happen in 24 hours. And I also said 24 hours, 24 times in the last 24 seconds. It's just, it's such a big claim that I feel like I need to grab this claim by the balls and see if it actually works. But I wanna see what my face looks like after wearing makeup for an entire day. An entire day. I want all forces of nature to hit my face. I want everything that I can possibly think of to hit my face. That sounded wrong. I'm gonna show you how it applies. I'm gonna show you how it works. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And then, oh, Get ready for a ride. <laughs> like I said, I wanna treat this foundation as I would any other to make it as long lasting as possible because of course we're gonna rely on the foundation, but there's ways to help it. So the first primer, this is the Tatcha Silk Canvas. This, when you put it on the skin, it doesn't really look like anything, but then once you put foundation over top, you're like, oh, I'm a goddess. And then also using the flower in your prime primer. Okay, so putting the Tatcha on. Oh, what am I getting myself into? Okay, so I'm primed. Now it's time for the foundation. If you want to know what color I'm in, I'm in the color shell. I need a shell of guidance throughout this day. And I'm going to be applying the foundation using my sponge. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. I definitely don't want to apply too much because the golden rule when you want your makeup to last all day is to just not apply as much. Now that in and of itself is a separate video and a challenge for me because <laughs> I apply a lot, but I'm gonna try and keep it a little bit more light. That is stunning coverage, look like that. I know everybody loves the sound, so just for you people, Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like. I am in love with the coverage. It is not too thick. It's a very thin layer and still it covers everything. I am liking this. If it stays looking like this all day, I am golden. Time for concealer. I am using NARS. Now this concealer doesn't claim to be 24 hour wear, but we're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna roll with the punches here. I'm now gonna set with powder, um, which is essentially baking. This is a vital step to any foundation that you wanna make long lasting. You wanna set it. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder under my eyes. That's not going anywhere. And then using another loose powder with my damp sponge to set as well. I also feel like this technique, although it is a lot, it just makes you look a little blurred. And I know we look super powdery right now, but as soon as we apply bronzer and contour and blush and highlight and then hit it with that setting spray, it transforms it back into skin. Oh, and we're golden. Now that my base is done, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows and eyes and face and lips off camera. And then this crazy day, We'll start. So this is what my face looks like with my entire look on. I went for a soft, subtle bronze glam. And this is what the face looks like. I think this foundation is so stunning. It is so full coverage. It makes me look 
even. It makes me look flawless. And now, hopefully, it'll stay on like this for 24 hours. I'm gonna take you to a theme park, so I'm gonna... Oh, oh, oh! Hold on, is she here? Okay, you guys, look who it is. It's Linda! So, I brought Linda... It is gonna be filming me today. She's gonna make sure that yeah. this 24 hour video looks bomb as fuck. Oh, you actually look flawless. Oh. Did you ever wear makeup for 24 hours? Makeup for 24 hours. Never in my life before. Never in your life? No. Today it's gonna be great. Okay, so it's really early. Like I said, right now it is 6.30 in the morning, which means, thank you so much, which okay. means I'll have to be awake till 6.30. Well, I've had this makeup on since like probably like six. Let's cap it at six. Let's do that. Okay. What is it you always say? So without further ado. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> it's gonna be a long day. Hello? Okay, test number one. Let's have lunch in the sun to see if it can hold up sunshine. You know, my life is just all about making great choices and being so smart about everything in life because, you know, in the burning sun, I'm wearing all black. Why did we pick this day? It's so warm. I'm taking you to the Efteling. Uh, which is like, it's a theme park that is all about magical creatures. It's all about magic. It's also very, very hot. So waiting in line is going to be a battle. Actually surviving the rides is going to be a battle for this foundation. So, okay. Actually. What if we have this all planned and they're sold out? <laughs> Come here. There's a wedding. There's a wedding. I don't know how to read maps. <laughs> we are, where are we? Oh, I see it. Oh, no, I don't. Let's just walk. <laughs> Alright, so during this very intense ride, it's finally time to powder. So I've been wearing this for a, a, a long time. <laughs> so I'm taking the Urban Decay All Nighter. Yeah. Uh huh. And a powder puff because I don't have the brush with me. And oh, I don't think I need a lot of powder. Wait, hold on. I need powder here, and I need powder here. Huh? Uh huh. I also need a little bit on the forehead. Right here. This is the greatest moment of my life. Makeup and roller coasters. This is the best time. It's been on my face for a long time. How long? What time is it? Two o'clock. It's been on my face for eight hours. It's only powdered twice in eight hours and it still looks really good. <laughs>
If anyone tries to tell me I never tried for this video, I tried. That was something. Something that was pretty wild. We tested out the foundation in roller coasters, in the heat, in the burning sun. Now we're on our way to Amsterdam. We're gonna try and find the most spicy food that makes me sweat. When I look at my base, it's um, it's very, very good. Like it looks like it's put together. I don't look sweaty. I look matte. The only thing that did not survive is my lash. Right now it is 4.50. 10 hours and 50 minutes. Normally, if I wear makeup, it would be around 10 hours or 12. 12 is like really pushing it. So in two hours, it would be anything that looks good from there is like, hey, hooray. Fried beef slices with peppers, basil leaves, and long beans. Chicken and potato in yellow curry sauce with coconut milk. Spicy? It has a two star spice rate. I'll probably sweat a, at a half star. So a three star is like, hello mom, call the emergency room. <laughs> Gang curry kai. Gang curry kai. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. The fried beef slices with peppers, basil leaves, and long beans. It's spicy. That's we need that. Okay. So it's it's super spicy, huh? Yeah, I think so. so spicy. You like? Sure. I didn't ask for spice. I didn't ask for anything. She, by her own, wanted to let me know that it's spicy. I'm gonna <laughs> die, huh? How often do you normally touch up your makeup? Um, depends where I am. Every time I feel like my face is really starting to sweat, I like pat it down oh, yeah, and then apply powder. And I think the magic trick is when you powder when you're sweaty, it, it makes holes in your foundation. It's better to let it dry, let the sweat dry, then powder, because then it's just oils. When it's sweat, it's it's like water. This one spicy. Uh oh. Too spicy. Too spicy. <laughs> This is the plate of death. Okay, hold on. I'm putting. Uh, okay. Hold on. It's really good. It's really good. And oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. But I'm doing really well right now. No, it's really good. What? It's not spicy? No, not really. Oh, hold on. Oh, I cheered too soon. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> chewing like a fierce one. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> 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 I'm still not sweating though, so. Oh god. It's great, everything's fine. It's. it's Ooh. So when I was doing a touch-up, my base still looked very, very good. The only parts that fell apart were eyeliner, lash came off, lipstick was ruined, um, and the blush was gone. So all I did in my touch-up was reapply blush, reapply highlighter, fix my lash, apply eyeliner, but the base was good. It's been on my face for 15 hours. 15. 15 hours.
Remember how earlier at dinner I was like, when you're sweating, don't powder because then it's like water instead of oils. But if there's one thing I think that is so important when you're having a night out, it's not all about the makeup. You know, of course we're trying out a 24 hour foundation today, but please, please for the love of parties, if you're out partying, you don't have to worry about your makeup. Just worry about you having fun with your friends and just having a good time. Just have fun, just have fun. It's just makeup, it's not that deep. This foundation is really deep right now because it's been on my skin for so long and we still got five more hours to go. Oh my God. Hi. Hi. Oh my God. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Oh, sorry, but how your makeup? <laughs> it looks so good. Wait, hold on, hold that thought. Linda, you just told me what? That your makeup look amazing. Uh-huh, and then you asked me what? How, many? How much I was uh -huh. wearing it? 19. 19? Are you fucking kidding me? 19 hours. So you think it looks good? You think it looks good? Look up, look up close. Is it good? Yeah. It's amazing. Really? It's, it looks amazing. Seriously, your skin. Which primer do you use? Alright guys, it is 1.30 in the morning. That means this is my last touch up of the day. I feel like I've helped this foundation enough with all that powder. Let's watch a movie or TV show. Love Island? Okay, I am back in the studio. This is my face after 24 hours of makeup and 24 hours of being awake. 6.30 in the morning, oh, 6.32 in the morning. I am beyond, beyond dead. But let's take a look at this face, hello. Of course, after 24 hours, oils have started peeking through right here. You see how it's kind of breaking up right here, like the oil is coming up and like texture's coming back up. So right here on the forehead, we are coming back to Oil City. So right here, because of the oil, it's finally starting to break up. Uh-huh. This looks a little smudged because I kept like pulling my hair back. The part about my face that's struggling most is first of all my eyeliner my lash has come off like four times i've had to reapply that inner corner like four times okay so 24 hours later these are my final thoughts on the becca foundation oh, what is this name ultimate coverage 24 hour foundation this foundation has swooped me off my feet and has shown me what true love is like <laughs> it has performed so so well today it has amazing coverage it slides on and glides on and applies like a dream. It's beautiful with powders. It's beautiful with bronzers, highlighters, blushes, you name it, setting sprays. It reacts so well. It's like, it's such a good team player. I feel like no foundation performs well without touch-ups throughout the day. I feel like every foundation out there needs a little love and help throughout the day. After 24 hours, this foundation is ready to depart the country. Yeah. I am really, really impressed. This has been the longest day of my life. Like, the longest day of my life. I wanna give you some quick notes. This foundation retails for $44, $44. I wanna thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this entire video because it's so brand new to my channel and I've never done something like it before. And I just wanna know what you think. If you enjoyed watching this video and you wanna see more content like this, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so I know uh, that I should do more. And without any further ado, my bed is called, got a bed with my name on it. With my name on it.